it was reported in Muslim that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Righteousness is in good character and wrongdoing is that which wavers in your soul and which you dislike people finding out about. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome back to Nafisa's Pearls. I pray that you are all in the best of health and iman. Alhamdulillah, I'm doing fine. Now, in today's video, I wanted to talk about the topic of characteristics to look for in a potential husband. Or if some of you are already married, then I pray that you'll be able to find some of these characteristics in your husbands. In which case, thank Allah and may dua for the rest of us that we find the same. I mean, so if you are interested in the characteristics that I have got listed, then please continue to watch the video. Right, the first characteristic that I think is very important, and I'm not saying first because you know it's in order of priority, it's just one of the characteristics is the characteristic of being a strong man now i'm not talking about physical strength only because yes the men are the protectors of the women and all of that we all know in islam right but i am talking about being mentally strong also a man who knows what he stands for a man who has a clear vision a hard working man now this is really I think an, impo an important quality to have because I think a lot of the time us ladies we're just looking at how much he's earning if he's earning you know a three figure salary or whatever some for some of us that's not good enough it needs to be more it needs to be this it needs to be that and I think a lot of us overlook the qualities we're just looking at sort of what's on the surface right because a man who has a vision and is working towards his goal he could become someone tomorrow you don't know Okay, he might not be earning that 50k right now, but you don't know where he's going. And he might even earn that 50k, but he rarely gives you five pounds to buy food for, for the day, right? So just having the money is not the most important thing in my perspective. My perspective is that I think that a man who is strong, a man who knows what he wants, a man who has a vision and works towards it, that is much more of an empowering, you know, characteristic to have in my opinion let me know if you agree with me or not on this one the next one is obviously the one that you will hear a lot of people talk about married people talk about this every wedding that you go to they talk about this and this quality is trust you need someone who is trustworthy because i have heard a lot of my married friends say you know a lot of they get a lot of hearsay about their partners and about this, that and the other. And you really need to be able to trust your partner in order for you to battle a lot of the things that might come your way. And really and truly, how can you spend the rest of your life? Because you are sharing a life with this person or you will be sharing a life with this person that will become your husband. So you need that person to be someone that you can trust. If he's meant to be your protector and that's how Allah has made it and you can't even trust him, like what who else are you going to trust yeah so inshallah you know trustworthiness and one of the ways in which you can find out whether this man is trustworthy or not is to look at whether or not he keeps to his promises is he someone that you know when he makes a promise he fulfills it if he says i'm going to do this does it do it or does he then later on come up with excuses and i'm not saying he fulfills these promises all of the time because you know ain't nobody perfect on this earth right but for the most part is that something that he does and do pe other people recognize that quality within him? So when you're asking people about his character and what he's like, you know, do people say, you know, he's a, he's really trustworthy, like you can trust him? Is that one of his traits or not? Because if not, then you need to try and figure out another way to find out if he really is trustworthy because you're going to share a life with him. This next characteristic is obviously something that is mentioned in a hadith by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said that if a man comes to seek for your daughter's hand in marriage and his deen is good and he has good character then you should give your daughter away to that man otherwise there will be fitna in the world and all of that. You need a man who has respect for himself and also respect for you and respect for everybody and everything in this world in general. Good manners and good characteristic beautifies a man. Like brothers, if you are watching this, please, if you take anything away from this video, try to beautify your character. 
and not just to impress the girl like i'm not saying this to impress the girl i'm just saying character is something we can all work on improving because ain't none of us like good enough as we should be in terms of character we can there's areas that we can all work on and so finding a man who has a good character for me i just think it's so important because if you're going to have children with this man and inshallah Allah blesses you with kids you want someone who can be a role model to your children and so you want someone whom your kids can look up to and say well you know this is how dad handles the issue and so this is how it should be so inshallah you'll be able to find a good man who has good character the next quality that i would like to talk about is a man who takes responsibilities i feel like there's nothing worse than a man who doesn't know how to take responsibilities who blames the whole world for all of his problems and never take responsibilities for any of his problems in islam the wife has her rights and she also has her responsibilities towards her husband and her husband also has his rights and his responsibility towards his wife now a person who doesn't know where their responsibilities lie can just get things wrong you know and can mess things up and in islam the husband is the leader in the family right he is the final he's the one who he has a cer certain level of responsibility over his wife and his children and so if that if you have a man who does not know what his responsibilities are how is he going to be able to support you this is what you need to be thinking about that's why you need a man who is really grounded and having uh, you know being responsible is part of that grounded good man that we should all be looking for inshallah right the next quality that i wanted to talk about is a man who prioritizes appropriately and i think that ties into you know knowing what his responsibilities are a man who knows that you know what once he gets married married things are going to change he's not going to be able to stay over at his friends for how many hours on end playing playstation because now he's got a wife <clears throat> and he needs to be there at certain times he needs to be home he needs to you know go out work provide for himself and his family right you need a man who understands all of that and so being able to delegate time and his effort and his money and all the other resources that he has and delegate it accordingly is really important because you don't want a man who has his priorities in the wrong place right so times when he should be spending with his family he gives all of it to his friends and you know that's how marriages begin to suffer and deteriorate and end up ending because people have their priorities in the wrong place face the final tip that i would like to talk about is a man who can help you achieve your purpose in this life you know marriage they say is very difficult and it comes with lots of challenges you know, marriage can last longer than this life if we work and hope for that what i mean by that is that you have this life partner who really should be helping you get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so if this partner is able to do that and you're able to help one another then you can reach Allah together and you can be joined in Jannah to Firdaus together as man and wife so your marriage not only lasts in this life but also lasts in the hereafter for me personally I think that the most important part of a marriage to me is having someone who can help me reach my Lord and how I can also support them to reach their Lord because at the end of the day I think if we both have that same common goal then I feel as though that marriage will have a lot more barakah it will have a lot more blessings in it and that's not to say that we won't ever have problems and we will live happily ever after in this life as I've said in my previous video that happily ever after complete happiness doesn't exist in this life you know it's continuous work but that means that you can have that eternal happiness with your spouse in the hereafter for me that's most important that's why i would always look for a man who can help me get closer to my lord and that will always be a beloved thing to me and i think as sisters really and truly we should be thinking about that because it's not only about how they can help us in this life and or how we can support them in this life but it's also about how we can both help each other fulfill our purpose in this life 
and so please keep that in mind and finally I would just like to say that sisters when you are thinking about choosing a spouse also look for the qualities that make him a great father because like I said he's not just going to be a husband to you but a father and you know an addition to the member of your family and you're going to be an addition to the member of his family so let's just look at it through that wide perspective and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all of us and I pray that he makes this search easy for those of you who are looking and uh, yeah just a short and quick video but I hope that you have enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos with regards to marriage and topics like this then please let me know don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already my name is Nafisa Jazakallah here for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh